Hey guys, wanted to make a quick video for you and talk about color matching and styling. So I have a giveaway poster right now in the VIP group that is taking a poll on what types of content you guys want to see more of in the VIP group. So that's going to help me know what type of videos to make for you guys, what type of graphics and photos that you might find helpful. And so first of all today, um, the first style profile I'm going to be doing, which will be this week sometime, will be on the Irma tunic t-shirt. But meanwhile, I wanted to show you my outfit of the day and talk a little bit about color matching. Alright, so if you're new to the group, you may not have seen, but I talk frequently about how on a lot of days I have a uniform I wear. My uniform, depending on the weather, in the cooler weather I, my uniform consists of leggings, a perfect tee, classic tee, or Irma, and a Lindsay or Monroe or a Sarah over the top. It's three pieces. And of those three pieces, obviously with all the different patterns and colors, there is infinite variety you can have in outfits. But making an outfit around those three pieces on the cooler days makes my life so much easier. I don't have to think as much about it. All I have to do is find a pair of leggings I want to wear that day, a shirt that matches, and uh, something that goes over the top to tie it all together. So today, I want to talk a little bit about color matching. So, because I know one of the biggest questions I get asked is, what do I wear with this shirt? Or what do I wear with this pair of leggings? Or what would that Lindsay look good over? So, let me walk you through my thought process today. So today I'm wearing a pair of leggings I've had for a long time and have not opened. I was just saving them for the day. I felt like wearing them. These leggings are navy with um, kind of like a light blue city scene on them. Kind of like... Um, when you see a city in a distance, I forget what that's called, but um, anyways, so originally I thought, you know what, I should find a light blue shirt that matches that to wear with that, and I found one. I have an Irma that is that color, and I was going to do that, but you know what, I was like, mm, that's kind of boring, so let me see what I can do to mix it up, and I thought, you know what, a contrasting color might give it a pop, so what I found was this yellow shirt. And then I put a blue Lindsay over it that is actually the color of um, the dark blue in the leggings. So why do why does yellow and blue look good together? I think it looks good together at least. Well, one reason is that they are opposites on the color wheel. So if you've ever taken any art classes, which I'm sure probably a lot of you have not, one of the staples, especially if you're a painter, is a color wheel and I'm going to show you this these are really inexpensive you can get them on Amazon or at an art supply store for somewhere between two and three dollars five dollars um, they have big ones that are like eight bucks this one I think was three ninety nine so if you are matching challenged like I used to be and some would argue I still am what you can do is get one of these color wheels and like I said they have them on Amazon so you can find the color you want to match so in this case it would be this blue violet I'm gonna hold it up here this blue violet and I apologize I've got the camera behind my lights so anything I hold up to the camera is not going to be well illuminated but I wanted to put the camera farther back so that you could see more of my outfit so um blue violet so this is blue violet and the way a color wheel works is that it can show you either complementary colors which is other shades that are close to it that match with it so for example if I look at blue these other shades of blue are complementary I can wear this light blue with the dark blue and actually that is how these leggings are set up these are complementary shades of blue but if you want to pop a color the best thing to do is to find the opposite color on the color wheel so in this case we're trying to match blue violet which is what it calls this color of my Lindsay opposite on the color wheel is what it calls yellow orange but we know that is mustard right so got blue violet here directly under it is yellow yellow orange or mustard what does that mean this is called a contrasting color and when you use a contrasting color like this um or um what happens is that these have the most um, vibrancy next to each other so yellow brings out the most vibrancy in the blue and vice versa um, because they are opposite on the color wheel all right so that's a little bit of co more complicated color theory, uh, theory 
but you know you can just hold two colors up together and see how they look together um, and that's also part of how I discovered I liked yellow and blue together or yellow and orange uh, sorry blue and orange so orange is also if you look at the regular blue orange is down here on the color wheel um, anyway so that's a little bit of color th theory let me show you another example so my friend Holly is getting this super cute outfit which is a Lindsay and leggings so with this we're going with kind of colors that are more complementary to each other meaning this pink matches the pink shades in here if you look closely at this Lindsay what you'll see is that it does have this blue purple color in the background this dark color and then in the foreground it has yellow flowers so this also has the contrasting colors going on in the pattern um, but in matching it with another item she chose to stick to the same color family and I think this looks really cute together so um, just to sum that all up when you're trying to find a color that matches you can either stick with the same color family or you can go with the opposite color on the color wheel so if you don't want to buy a physical color wheel, you can look up color wheels online on your, um, you know, on the internet, on the web, and pull it up online and have it tell you what colors might match. There's also something that's called a triad. And what a triad is, is um, three colors that add vibrancy and contrast to each other. So just um, Google color wheel um, and then you will get some options there. All right, so complementary colors, contrasting colors, there's some options. So, and then I'm a huge jewelry person. I love jewelry. Um, I have actually plunder jewelry that I wear a lot. These earrings are plunder jewelry, um, and I'll drop a link below. You can get that from my online website if you like. Um, and so I will talk about matching jewelry in a different video. All right. That is all for today's color matching lesson. If you have questions or comments, drop them down below and I will answer them. Or if you want videos on other related topics, comment below, let me know, and that way I'll know what to make videos on. All right, that is all. Hope you guys are having a good week.